I haven't seen this matchup in Ultimate, but a quick upbeat again. Yet again, that was a good 15% right there. Okay, S smash to punish the wake up attack from leg. Again, we'll see if the if he gets a grab, if that's gonna be kill percent. The way that, that wind up punch is coming out, I think we might need to have the giant punch counter. Whoa! -ho -ho! Who needs a giant punch when you got the big stinky foot right there? Yeah, no jumping options from the ledge. Okay, that's going to be the first arc for going to YMCA. Oh, okay. Quite like this, using the bouncy push for edge guards, because yet again, it's hitting him from the top. So, yeah, th th this is looking a lot worse for DK than I, I'd imagine. And that's looking reminiscent of Smash 4. That's yep. definitely a tool that got utilized against DK um, in Smash 4. In that same fashion, too. Yeah. Okay, up tilt connects. Using a bounce fist to escape, but he does get grabbed in. Ding dong. K9 loses the stock. Yep. Oh, is it time to rinse and repeat? Yeah. I feel like DJ has to recover super low now just so that you can't bouncing fish. Like, for him. Oh, good dash dance. Really mixing up where you're going to be going, K9. And forward is going to land. Again, a quick up. Oh my god, he read the dodge read. Read of air dodge. What? Don't take He's got swing. Clap him up. <laughs> Put your hands together for our winner, DK. Okay. Well. Oh my God. All right. Well, cheek. You know, it was a good try. I, I definitely appreciate the cheek pick. It, it didn't do bad. It just we'll died. It, it just died super early. I, I see a character switch. Oh. He's you know what? It, it, it's game one. It was game one. It's game best two. Five, yeah, best, best of five. five. He has he has games to work with. Three, two, one, go! Okay, well, let's see if, if uh, K9's going to be making an adjustment. He's still going to be uh, real relying on his great recovery or reaction time to really punish. But YMC is just pushing buttons, pushing all the buttons. I mean, when you have a move that has super armor on it, like, why not? Yes. <laughs> well, 45% on the K9, 54 for YMCA. Okay, sort of the K9 that I expected to see a little bit more in game one. Playing a little bit more patient. Yeah, the cross up more nares. reserved. Yeah, yeah, cross up nares. And then, you know, finishing off with F tilts, but it doesn't matter when you die when you get grabbed at 55. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that there, Chief. Yeah, I think what I, I just realized that why would you ever take DK to stadium, you know, or or like Smash Ball, you know? I feel like if you're gonna take him to a stage, like and he doesn't ban FD or Town, like take him to Kalos. At least that way, like he can't use the platforms to kill you at 50. That's true. You just stand center stage. And we're, I think I was talking about this with Ridge earlier. Like, I think this is DK's best stage. Oh, it's easily DK's best stage because Battlefield has the higher blast zones. So it's harder to kill off the top, and it, he just died. Yes, wow. the revenge kill is real, and K9 able to take a stock off YMCA. Still down a complete stock, but I mean we've seen Sheik make miracles before. Let's see if she can do it here in Smash Ultimate. I mean, if she can get bouncy fishes off stage like consistently, like again, YMCA is going to struggle with that. That's right. Here we go. The ledge traps are real coming out from K9. I like the way he drifts back. You know, it looks like he's going to be forcing out or forcing options from YMCA, but he just drifts back and then punishes whatever option uh, he picks. Again, a quick back air to Nair, and it's not going to be able to quite punish it up, oh, but. Very oh. unfortunate. Up smash to strike. Drifting a little bit too far. You know, I like the needles attempt there, but unfortunately, not going to quite catch him. No, but that Tomahawk did. He just walked up and grabbed him. Yep. Okay, all this damage is racking up. Down tilt to Nair. You see YMCA off stage again, but the last hit of the slap does land. That's probably messing up K9 just a bit. I mean, at this point, I'd be more worried about oh, getting. No. Oh, uh, what was that? That was a misplay right there. I feel like he wanted to go for like forward smash, but a jab came out where he just panic jabbed instead. 103%. That's not something to laugh at, especially when you have max rage. 
quick up smash out of shield, but that's not going to be enough. But that bouncing fish will clean up that stock. But yet again, a rageless DK, you know. Uh, I wonder if that will help Zeke Don percent at this point. I mean, he's got another 30% before he falls out of the window, but I think Sheik just fell out. Uh, at this point, he might be going for back airs. Um, or back throws. Back throws. Or even the, the, the mix-up uh, cargo throw to back throw. This has got a land for him right now. That the Dawn Copter coming in clutch, breaking the combo. Low YMCA. Now forward throw into back air. Oh, I, I like the attempt with grenade right there. You know. But yet again, this is K9 basically saying, like, I can, I'm not going to get grabbed for the rest of this game. I mean, you, you can't get grabbed if you're grabbing. Yep. You're just grabbing everything. Oh, oh that was such a bad mistake. And yet again, he gets forward smash for it. Yeah, I feel like my stage, you know, he's not going to kill. Not DK. Yeah. Oh, no, there was. Oh, that was a downer. Yeah. That was the down air to win the game. And yet again, he dies for it. You see YMCA with a sigh of relief. No, K9 was bringing that match back from the depths and just could not close it out for that last little hit. I mean, K9 just racked up so much damage, especially utilizing throws. How much pressure he was applying to YMCA, knowing that he was going to be scared. You can see a few years just shave off of YMCA's life right there. No, you're not going to pick Lucario. Oh, he's going to go Wolf, yeah. Okay, so here comes the big bad wolf. Two, one, go. Yeah, I think, like, you know, the sheet was working out towards the end of game two. It was, yeah, but, I mean, when your tournament life is on stock, you're going to pick the top tier. That's true. This way, this way, with Wolf, you know, he's going to have uh, yep. access to a few more kill moves. All right, down air off stage, you know. Uh, down a, smash at the ledge. A better projectile. Better projectile for sure. Cross up Nair is still going to be godlike. And he doesn't die to Ding Dong. At least not as easily as Sheik did. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> back air, back throw yeah. at the ledge. Okay, now now K9 also has access to a kill throw. Oh wow, wow. that's unfortunate for K9. <laughs> that was doubly unfortunate for K9. But yet again, Wolf managed to clean up the stock super quickly with that up smash. Okay, good dash dance into up throw, back air, attack on a little bit extra damage and get stage control. Look at the how these YMC is swinging once again. No, 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 okay. Yeah, he manages to get out that time. I heard that mash. You hear yeah. that mash? Oh, yeah. I heard that mash around the world. It's, it, it's mash or die at that point. <laughs> Good again. I, l I like all these combos that are coming out for K9 now. Yeah, really bringing back the percent deficit. Now even taking the lead in terms of numbers. Nair going to get shielded and a back throw to punish. The grab and then the offstage option. No, he gets hit by the up B instead. Yeah, that combo breaker, Kong Copter. Oh, Ooh. I like that. That that shimmy away. Yeah, but even though YNCA threw out a pretty laggy option, you know, he wasn't in position. K9 wasn't in position to, to get the punish. I see more up tilts come out from YNCA. I feel like K9 keeps landing behind him. Or YMCA um, with enough lag where up tilt will be a threat. I mean, up tilt will probably definitely kill at this percent, but back throw kill is the question. And yes, it will. Oh, I feel like this is the first time K9 has had a stock lead this entire set. Okay, another up tilt coming out from YMCA after K9 gets a pretty easy combo, but a big down smash. We have an even game. Yep. No YMCA is fiending for this win. He really wants to take this victory. Advance to grand finals here at Wednesday Night Fights. This would be, I believe, the highest placing placement he's had uh, at Wednesday Night Fights. All right. Oh, there's an air off stage, and yet again, not going to die for it. Tries oh. to punish the forward smash, but yet again, it's like a Meta Knight forward smash. You know, yeah, you can't what? get baited into that. Yep. Oh, but that up smash will punish him. And we are going to game four. You know, the Wolf definitely pulling things through for K9 right now. Right, but 
course, this is going to be YMCA's counter pick. And on top of that, YMCA only has to win one more game, while K9 still needs to take two. And they're just running all these sets on Stadium. You know, I was, I was expecting YMCA to actually pick uh, Yoshi's again, like he did against Paper. Mm -hmm. Maybe utilize those small blessings to his advantage. But I think he doesn't want to lose the, the Ding Dong. Um, just like positioning of the platform, and just how easy it is to Ding Dong on the stage. All right. Okay, we'll receive the canine lead traps coming in. Putting 64% already on YMCA. Yeah, again, YMCA getting uh, up throw to uh, double back air. Good move from K9. He knows that he's he's pretty much at death percent. He is staying at a position where he didn't want to approach with that wolf flash. Oh, oh look at oh. And he gets double up air for it. The follow up. Oh, I, I like what K9 was trying to do there. He was trying to go for that down smash to clean out the stock, get the revenge kill. But unfortunately, the the uh, DK Copter has a lot of disjoints on the, the, the front and back ends of it. Oh, you can even see YMCA right there just drifting back a little bit. Making it very difficult to tell when he was going to go for the ledge grab. And K9 was whiffing down smash for it. Ooh, I like that option, using the Kong Punch to like kind of cover his landing a little bit. Oh, there's the up tilt. Oh, the paper grab doesn't whiff, or it does whiff. Gets the Tomahawk in the back throw. And oh, I, I want to see more dares come out for K9. Just Especially with the way that the, the you know, up B4 YMCA will work. You know, very vulnerable at the center. Going for another pit grab, but it's not going to work. And Tomahawk going to land. Easy damage for K9. Yet again, this should be death, and it will. Now with a one stock lead, looking similar to a previous game, but we're going to see, ooh, YMCA making big plays. Right. He's trying to end this set at this point. There we go. He's going to take note of that and then go for like a similar uh, cargo setup and then take a jump forward air next time. All right. Oh, and there's the down air. That's what I wanted to see from K9 this entire set, was going for the down air on his uh, recovery. Wow, 45% easy from K9. Just comboing off of forward air. And I see both these players swinging, pushing oh. buttons. But at this point, K9's at death percent. Ooh, I don't know, 70%. It does look like Ding Dong percent. Big S match gonna win from both players. No. Back throw, and we have K9 with stage control once again. Oh, I, I liked what he was trying to do. He was trying to use the super armor on the side B to potentially bury him. But yet again, K9 not falling for it. And yet again, we are at pretty much kill percent for both players at this point. But who's going to die? It will be YMCA. Wow. Oh, just showing just how strong the back air is for K9. I mean, the percent difference between those two was only like wasn't, It wasn't that big. Yeah. Kane or DK is supposed to be a heavier character, but you just saw like K9 kind of just like flew off stage. Like I'm kind of off stage. No, DK went flying through the air into this last zone. And now we are going to game five. That's right, game five. You know, only one of these players gets a fight. Face Nitro in Grand Finals. Ooh, YMCA just empty jumps and gets grabbed for it. I mean, that is the downside of like pushing so many buttons. Whenever you push a button and it connects to a shield, you're susceptible to a uh, shield grab. Ooh, that was a really risky up B. And yet again, he's going to get punished for it, but. No, K9 manages to sneak in a forward smash right there. Ooh, okay, good trap at the ledge. Now a couple of up airs gonna keep K9 in the air. Good amount of damage. Oh, I like that. But unfortunately not gonna be able to follow it up with anything. And he gets back aired for trying to go for that side B. It's doing throwing out a little bit too many Hail Marys with those side Bs. Good tool if you can catch your opponent off guard, but I think just using it too often. Uh, K9's playing just a little bit safer now. I feel like at this point, K9's playing 
you know, like you said, a lot safer, but I feel like he's playing smarter. He's not falling for any of YMCA's uh, tricks and gimmicks. Well, As I say that, gimmick. yeah. <laughs> Air connect to Blaster. Red Trap gonna put an easy 100% of Haunt to YMCA. Ooh, I like how he tried going for that jab jab, but unfortunately he's gonna get down smash for it because he small dodged through it. Quick grab. Back throw and not gonna be able to quite find it. Yeah, I need a little bit more rage uh, for that to be a threat right. on a heavy like DK. Another grab, and yet again, not from the right positioning, but the up tilt will kill out the stock right there. Yeah, that's a fresh up tilt, too. We haven't really seen K9 utilize it. Really only throwing it out after, like, low percent combos uh, to try and link. I mean, it's one of those options that, like, the animation and, like, the amount of damage it does, like, you don't think it'll kill. I feel like that's, like, like when it smashes, like, Top 10 least expecting to kill moves. He just, lifts, he just lifts his leg in the air. And he's exercising. Yeah. It's like a little hop kick. And yet again, now that he has the lead, he's just sitting content throwing out lasers, but. And that's exactly why he should have stayed back and continued to shoot lasers. A forward air, a, a grounded forward air, kill. was enough to take its stock. Yeah. I mean, it, that, that put this game at game five last, uh, you know, one stock apiece. You know, DK's with all this rage, you know, if he gets a grab at uh, maybe like 5, 10 per, more percent, he, he's, if he gets grabbed, he's dead. Is he? Yeah, he's at 50%. I mean, just look at the way K9, you yeah. know, K9's on, definitely thinking the same thing. He continues to just retreat to these platforms, but across the air doesn't land. What's he going to be? Back air, going for the high back air, doesn't oh. find anything. Oh, it's getting oh, grabbed! No. Oh, oh, but he, yet again. I feel like he wasn't in the right position. He had to go for the, the. Oh, okay, good, good match. match, good match, good match. No, no, very, no. very smart. Oh my god, that was YMCA. so smart from Kano. Holding down, knowing that YMCA was forced to push a button. Right. So smart. What a way to clutch out game five, last stock. Yet again, I feel like the the amount of mashing needed to get out of that cargo throw. Pretty much one K9 in the game right there. 